What is going on everybody and welcome back to Tech Cubed and today we are going to be installing Mac OS 10.9 Mavericks into a VirtualBox virtual machine. Now you guys seem to enjoy a video I made a little while ago where we installed Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard into a virtual machine. Um, so now we are going to install 10.9 Mavericks, which is uh, pretty much um, a few years newer. Well, actually more of a couple years newer. Um, and it can run a lot more of newer software. And um, it can do a lot more than Snow Leopard, even though it might not be the biggest difference. Especially since Snow Leopard and Mavericks, uh, neither are supported. Um, but basically, uh, you're going to need a couple things, which I'll go over in just a second. But um, this will work on a AMD or Intel machine, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so a couple things you're going to need. Uh, first off, you are going to, of course, need VirtualBox. Um, and then the second thing you are going to need is this OSX Mavericks ISO. Now, there will be a download link in the description along with a VirtualBox right here. Uh, but basically, th these are the only two things you need. It's a little bit more simple than uh, 10.6 Snow Leopard to install. Uh, so th th those are two things you need, uh, VirtualBox and Mavericks. So um, without further ado, uh, we can get started installing our virtual machine. Well, I guess we can set up our VirtualBox virtual machine and then install it in there later. Uh, so click new. I will set my custom location. Um, I will name it uh, Mac OS. Uh, if I can put the S capitalized, uh, ten dot nine Mavericks. Uh, so it comes it, like that already. But I will just type out uh, Mavericks right there. Actually, I uh, put two R's right there. Uh, I think that's how you spell it, right there, uh, 10.6, uh, oh, actually no, 10.9 uh, Mavericks, and uh, put it 64 bit right there. Um, now keep in mind, uh, this may look a little bit different when you click new, uh, because the, I am on the expert mode, because it's going to be a little thing down here next to uh, uh, your cancel button, uh, your create button, and your guided uh, mode, because uh, I am on expert mode. Um, so the setup process is pretty much the same. However, um, if you want to be very precise about it, I guess you can switch to expert mode down here, and this is what it will look like. Uh, so memory, I am going to give it a decent amount of 8 gigs, because I have a good amount of memory on my machine. Uh, create a virtual hard disk now. Uh, let's click create. I will give it uh, 64 gigs. Now, 8 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, they are way overkill, especially for Mavericks. Um, especially if you're not going to be installing too much software here, you'll be able to install a good amount, definitely. But if you're going to install a lot, you might want to go with Sandra 28. 64 is well more than enough here, though, um, if you're just doing regular stuff. I'm going, uh, you can, you're going to want to set to dynamically allocated on uh, the VirtualBox disk image right here. And then click Create. Now it will pop up right here, Mac OS 10.9 Mavericks. Now, but we are not ready to get started yet. We got to go into Settings. So now this will pop up. You're gonna wanna on the left here. You're gonna wanna come down to system, and then on motherboard right here, you're gonna wanna uncheck floppy, and then bring it down under optical and hard disk. Then you're gonna wanna uncheck EFI. Uh, I am going to give it a second processor. Um, you don't need to do that, especially if you have a processor that's a little bit on the lesser end of si side of things. But uh, I like to do it because I have a pretty decent processor in my computer. Um, so yeah, I give it two processors, uh, do not have EFI enabled right here. Uh, come down to display, I am going to set the video memory to 128 megs. You don't need to do that, set it to 128 megs, but it's highly recommended. And now for storage, uh, right here, you're going to click on empty. Now you're going to want to click on choose a disk file. Now you're going to want to navigate to that Mavericks ISO right here, and then you're going to open it. And what says OSX Mavericks ISO, click OK, and then we can start up the virtual machine. Now it may take a second to start up, uh, depending on your machine right here. Uh, if this box pops up, which uh, does for some reason, you could just click out of that, um, and then it will load up. Now, um, capture it, um, if you have the option, if you click on it, it says capture. Um, you can set it to where you just click in there and it it captures automatically without popping up that window right there. 
Um, next thing you'll want to do is press uh, negative or minus um, and then V. It's right here. So on your keyboard, uh, put uh, negative, a minus, whatever you want to call it, and then V. And then press enter. All right, now it will take a second. Um, this may take a little bit, depending on your machine. Um, I might skip ahead a little bit if it takes too long, because it ranges in time uh, that it takes to properly start up, in my experience. Like, I've had times where it's popped up in, like, 10 seconds, and then others where it's taken a couple minutes. So, it really depends. Um, this part right here isn't necessarily based on how powerful your system is, because uh, it takes uh, different times every time, even on the same machine that I've tested this on before. Okay, now it will pop up like this right here. So you have the option to select what language you want to use for the installation and the system as a whole. Uh, so you can scroll down here if you want to use something different. Um, if you, you can use something different if you want to. It spoke right there. Uh, it confused me a little bit. Yeah, it does that. Um, like I said, use English main language. You can use a different language, but I think most everybody here is probably going to be using English. Um, so I'm going to click next and then set up the installation of OS X, click continue. So I click continue, I click agree. Now right here, this is where a lot of people get confused and quit in my experience. Don't quit here, it's a very simple uh, thing that we have to go through to get this to work. It'll happen to everybody, um, so we just have to go over right here. Because what happens right here is they see OS X base system, they can't install it here. Uh, you can't install it, the same disk that contains the installation package. But what you actually have to do is you have to come up to utilities and then click on disk utility and then it'll pop up with this window right here and then click uh, whatever size you set your virtual hard disk to be. Um, it is now it will be a little bigger uh, right here because it said 68.72 gigs. Um, now it, I said 64 when we set it up. Of course, it may be a little different. I think it is a little different though. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind that it will be a little different than what you actually set it to. Um, and then I will name it Macintosh HD right here. Um, and then click erase. It should only take uh, like uh, 10 seconds at the most um, to erase it because there's nothing on here. Um, and it's going to be ready for installation. So there we go. Um, it's finished. So if we click X right here. You can install it right here. Now, of course, um, if you remember the OS X uh, Snow Leopard video, you can go into customization. Um, I will just leave it as is this time because a lot you're going to need basically almost all of this stuff. Right here, like the bootloader, um, graphics, stuff like that. You're going to need all of this right here. And like the OS X fixes. I don't really recommend going in here and changing um, anything like unchecking stuff right here because the way it's set is the way you're gonna want to have it because right here it um, this is the bootloader and stuff because this is already comes with a bootloader built in um, if you want to say it like that um, so you don't need like iBoot or anything like that or hack boot to get started up so just uh, click OK don't I don't recommend changing anything in there because um, I think Almost, if not all the stuff you're going to need. So click Macintosh HD right here, or whatever you named your disk, and click install. Now, um, this may take a little time, depending on our system. This is pretty quick in my experience. Um, now, it says 24 minutes. For most, for me, it'll probably take about five, because in my experience, this does not take long to get installed. I'm like um, Snow Leopard, which took around 15-20 uh, minutes, this will probably only take about five, because it says... 20 plus minutes, but it really won't take that long. But um, I will be back when it finishes. All right, so the operating system finished installing. It took a little bit longer than I expected, um, but it wasn't that bad. Um, of course, uh, it will vary for you depending on your machine. Don't turn off the uh, virtual machine yet. It will restart automatically. Um, now it will say, well, will not restart, um, but it says system uptime in nanoseconds. Now, what you're going to want to do is click right control. Well, mine's right control because I'm on Windows. You know, this tutorial, of course, works for Mac. But now you're going to want to uncapture your mouse and then go over here and click the X. Click power off. And now you can start it back up again. Um, the, mach the machine took a bit longer to install than I expected. Of course, yeah, it will vary for you depending on your machine right there. Um, 
All right, now we come back in here, uh, capture, and up here, we're, use your arrow keys, and then you can move back and forth between OS X Mavericks and Macintosh HD, um, and then press enter right there on Macintosh HD, and then it'll bring up this screen, and Mac OS will start to load in. Um, it might take a, uh, of course, you know, this might take a couple minutes. Um, the first time I did this, it took a couple minutes, like, I think two um, yeah, of course, depends on your machine, but, um, I'll come back when it finally loads. Okay, now it will load in, and it will say welcome. In just a few steps, you can register and set up your Mac. Uh, so I will click United States and continue. You can change if you want, um, but I'll just keep it on a lot of the defaults. Like, I'm not trying to any information now. I'm not signing in to iCloud. Um... Now, of course, the click agree, because you can't move past field, click agree. Um, full name, we'll just put, you know, the channel, um, name right here. And account name, uh, that, it can be like that. You can choose the profile picture as well. Uh, defaults, it looks like they're not loading in at the moment. Actually, wait, if I click edit, then, okay, you can do that. Um, uh, I'll just leave it at the default. Uh, new password, we will not require a passcode. Um... Set time zone based on current location. I don't even think it can see my current location because it's in a virtual machine. Um, set, I mean, yeah, we can do that, but I'm not sure if it'll work. Uh, send diagnostics, use state Apple. Um, I don't even think it can be sent to Apple, but we'll just leave all that stuff checked anyway. Um, oh, you haven't provided the password. Do I have to put the password? Uh, I guess it makes me put the password. All right, I'll just do that then. Very simple password. And it creating account and not registering anything. I don't even think you can register stuff because it's in a virtual machine. But it's now setting up your Mac. And oh, well, there's two cursors on my screen now. <laughs> That'll get fixed momentarily. And it will load in like that. And yep, um, there you go. That This tutorial um, is about complete. Uh, this is how you set up uh, Mac OS uh, 10.9 uh, Mavericks. Um, so far I just tried to open there even though it kind of didn't work. Um, actually, here's something I, I forgot to mention real quick. When you're in here, um, you're gonna want to leave, um, do not restart shut down because it's being configured. Um, do not, rest even though the tutorial is just about complete, do not um, restart or shut down because it takes a while to set up. There's some apps in here that, you know, come pre-installed, quote unquote. Um, like hack store and hardware monitor, I think that's hardware monitor, um, Utor, stuff like that. Uh, and that comes in here. So you're basically just going to want to wait um, until it's done configuring everything. And then that's basically it. You can go to the app store, you can download apps, and you can go into Launchpad and I guess use some of these apps in here, like hack store. I haven't really tested out anything here. It's a little glitchy. And like it's all glitching right now, um, that might happen. So it's repairing permission stuff now. If you click about this Mac, that is something you do not want to do. Well, you can do it. I'll do it right now. As a matter of fact, it's not a big deal when you do it. It just it doesn't. It just since you're installing a virtual machine, it has no real Mac hardware that's running on. And yep, it'll do that. And then it will bring us back to the desktop. So, there's no point to really even doing that. Um, oh, introduction to the... Oh, uh, wait, no, the keyboard identifier thing. Keyboard step assistant. Um, so do that, do that, and done. Uh, so yeah, the install will prepare permissions. Uh, on that note, though, this tutorial is basically uh, been done. That's how you do it. Uh, you can go in here now and do, like, your apps and uh, whatever. But that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have some more videos that you can check out if you want, like on tutorials like this with virtual machines. Um, I recommend you check some of them out. And I will probably be doing more in the future as well because um, you guys seem to like it when I do the virtual machine installation things because they're very helpful and I see a lot of false tutorial stuff online. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Tech Cubed, over and out.